Nothing hits like coffee. Take your vitamins, kids. They're good for you. Literally just woke up and I have some fruit, some pineapple and cantaloupe. I've decided that today is going to be a productive day for me because I feel like the past week or so, I've just been feeling very bleh. Maybe it has to do with the fact that you know, it's a full year since this whole pandemic thing started and I'm starting to feel the like burnout and exhaustion not from work but just from this whole situation which I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to because we're all, you know, kind of in the same boat right now. Today I was kind of like, you know what, I'm gonna kick myself in the butt and just try to do things that make me feel better, feel more productive. Even though my motivation is kind of running low, I feel like once I start doing things, it'll feel a lot better. So today I'm going to try to clean up around my apartment. It's an absolute mess. So maybe this will end up just being like a clean with me video. <laughs> apartment, ultimate apartment clean out because there's just random piles of clutter all over my apartment that my brain has gotten used to. You know when you leave a pile of things in your apartment for too long and you're so used to it that your brain just doesn't even register it as clutter anymore. <laughs> I feel like that's the point that I'm at. Once my space is clean, maybe my mind will be cleaner too. I also really want to get down to some work with some shop merch stuff. It's Monday today, so we'll see how long that motivation lasts, but hopefully it'll be semi-entertaining for you guys. I'm getting ready now, putting on some makeup. I have a, um, a quick meeting later, so I need to look presentable from here up. <laughs> I recently got these gray contacts. They're prescription contacts, so I wanna try them. I don't know if I'll look creepy in colored contacts. I kinda like these, they're very natural. All right, so I think I'm done getting ready. I changed into clothes that aren't my pajamas, which deserves an applause <laughs> for me. And I also did my hair. Uh, speaking of which, actually, this is a perfect time to thank today's sponsor, Function of Beauty. I always get so many questions about my hair. It actually surprises me. And I think it's because I've been on this whole hair recovery journey, especially since my hair used to be so damaged from the bleach era and I don't, now it's been looking so shiny and healthy and I'm glad you guys are noticing because I'm also very happy with how it's been looking and that is all thanks to Function of Beauty. They're pretty much the only hair care products that I use in my hair. I think I've been using them for over a year now. These are my new bottles that are ready to go when I finish the ones in my shower. Uh, I just took them out of my shower right now, but <laughs> this is how much I use. So if you guys don't know about Function of Beauty products, it is custom hair care tailored to whatever you need for your hair. Um, you just go on their website and you fill out this quick little quiz about your hair type, your hair goals. Like for me, obviously hair repair was a really big thing, moisture, hydration, then you can customize the color of the shampoo as well as the scent. I'm someone who's very 
sensitive to scents. I don't like when things are too fragrant or strong, so you can choose the level of the fragrance, which I love, and my personal favorite part about it is that I chose a pear scent. I am obsessed with pear scented things. I don't know why, I just love pear scents. It's so refreshing and light and clean smelling to me, so both my conditioner and shampoo have that scent, and I have this really pretty, like, mint color and then the only other like added products besides the shampoo and conditioner that i use from them is i just got this this is newer this is the leave-in conditioner um so when i want that added extra moisture i'll do this maybe like once a week or something besides all the fun stuff like fragrance and color and all of that of course the actual ingredients are great in this there's no parabens sulfates gmos or toxins so if you guys want to try out function of beauty for yourself and get your own customized hair care routine then make sure you click the link in my description box down below. Function of Beauty was kind enough to offer Lil Doodles, my viewers, 20% off your first set. So thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video again. And now, back to work, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish a bunch of things before my meeting, and then we'll see where the day takes us. I'm just making a quick lunch right now. I have some leftover like salad and vegetables, so that's what I will have for today. Alright, so it is almost 3 p.m. Uh, I have one more Zoom meeting for today and then I'm done for the main things, my main priority things for the day. It was one of those days where I was just kind of like doing emails, a lot of emails and meetings and kind of just on the computer a lot. So definitely feeling it in the like back pain region. But once I'm done with this meeting, maybe I'll go on a walk or something because I have not been outside yet. No! <laughs> Three second rule. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with me today? I'm eating these mochi ice cream things. They're very good. They're coconut ice cream too, which really agrees with me because I'm dairy free, lactose intolerant, so... You can find these. The, the company is called Buono. Buono. to go on a little walk and also pick up some mail. It's actually kind of warm outside for Toronto winter. I just got back from my walk. I picked up some mail from my P.O. box as well. Um, and it's already dark outside. It's like 5 p.m. and it's really cloudy and dark, so it feels like it's much lighter than it actually is. But I thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing from some of this stuff that I got in the mail. Um, all right. So this is from Jennifer, aka Generation DIY, and I guess she sent over some of her jewelry from her jewelry shop. I've been seeing her make jewelry on her Instagram and it looks so cute. Oh, Jennifer, I miss you. Look at how cute. This one has stars and then there's a blue butterfly necklace. Oh, wait, I just realized. <laughs> That's so cute. She used my washi tape on the back of her packaging. 
I like this one. It's like a chunky chain and then there's a lock on it. And then she sent over some cute little butterfly earrings. Oh, there's one more thing. <gasps> What's this? Oh, what? Cool. It's a water bottle, but it looks like a, a milk curtain. <laughs> Wait, I kind of love this. Jennifer, thank you so much if you're watching this, which I'm not sure if you are. Shout out to you. If you guys want to check out her little jewelry shop, go to Generation DIY Shop. Um, I didn't even know she was sending some of the stuff over, so thanks, Jennifer. I miss you. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, okay, I'm excited for this. Um, so this is from Marsback. They have different like computer accessories and they sent over a mechanical keyboard and this one has like all the RGB lights all over it and it glows and stuff. Maybe once it's all set up, I'll show you guys in a vlog or on Instagram or something because I saw pictures of this and it looks so pretty. So I'm really excited. Also, I love mechanical keyboards, like the typing noises. It's just ASMR to me and it just makes me want to work. Um, I don't know, something about like typing on a mechanical keyboard and the noises is just so satisfying. And then lastly, this one was stuck in my P.O. box. Usually when there's larger items, they'll hang on to it. But for some reason, the post office decided to try to fit it in, in the, the little cubby. From your Discord and Twitch mod. Oh, they, oh my God. Thank you for welcoming us into your creative world. Hope this gift reminds you of all of us mods. So my mods on Twitch and Discord, my moderators, they had mentioned they sent something over, but I didn't know what it was. So I wasn't sure when it was gonna come. What? No way. It's a keep doodling neon sign. I think they got it like handmade from Etsy. Wait, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Look. Thank you so, so much to my Twitch and Discord mods. They're honestly the sweetest. I feel like I'm gonna cry because I don't know why they sent this. I think they just wanted to send a cute gift, but for me, like in my mind, I'm just so grateful to them. If you guys don't know, on my Twitch streams and in my Discord, there are moderators and they just help to keep everything, like the chat and everything safe and positive and good vibes and they're just such an amazing team of people that I found in my community and have made streaming and all of that so lovely so thank you so so much to my Twitch and Discord mods for this amazing sweet gift I like I need to figure out where to put it now <laughs> I want to put it somewhere that you guys will be able to see it in my videos <laughs> I'm literally gonna message all of them immediately letting them know that I got it. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, well that just made my day. Um, <laughs> it's so funny because at the beginning of this vlog I was literally talking about how I was kind of having like a meh week and not feeling so great and just like the fact that my mods sent me this at the perfect timing and they're part of this lovely little doodle community that I'm so so grateful for and um, I, don't, I just don't even know what to say. Uh, I feel like I should be the one giving gifts to them because I do so much for my community on the Twitch streams and in Discord. If you guys want to hang out in our Discord server, the Little Doodles Discord server, or tune in to a stream, clearly there are some awesome people that hang out there if this is any indication. And you can interact with those lovely humans, as well as me, of course. But. You know, you guys, the little doodles make up the community and make me so much, make me a better creator. So I just really appreciate all of you guys. Look at how cute it looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can have different like flashing. And now to clean up the unboxing mess. I had just cleaned up this area. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to show you guys. So recently me and my friend put up these shelves in my bedroom. 
cue the clip of us struggling to put it up by ourselves. I really needed some more storage space because I had accumulated a lot of albums and notebooks and books and stuff so we put up these shelves. A lot of this stuff used to be on these shelves over here that you guys have seen in my videos before and then underneath it you guys have also seen in my videos this is where my vanity used to be but now we moved it from here to here. I really like how it turned out. A lot of my like K-pop album stuff is up there, so it freed up a lot of space over here. And then also because the vanity used to be flipped this way on this wall, I feel, felt like before there was a tight alleyway for me to squeeze through in my bedroom. But now there's actually quite a lot of floor space, I think, because, you know, a lot of the floor space got freed up from the shelves, which is really nice. But anyway, I pretty much organized a lot of the stuff on these shelves already. But now there's a huge pile of mess of things that I had shuffled around. And even here, I can move some stuff around as well. It had kind of become a place, like you can see here, for me to throw things, you know, especially when the albums were on here, it took up a lot of space and it wasn't pleasant. It started out as a decorative display case for me to showcase things and then it just kind of became this area for me to house a lot of different like notebooks and stuff. So hopefully I can reorganize it in a way that makes it look pretty again. I am really happy with these shelves here. I think it looks really nice and everything is finally organized. So I'm gonna do the same over here. What I want to do now is actually go through my makeup collection and try to reduce it because a lot of it is either old or I don't use it that much and I really really want to condense and clean it up because you guys will see it's pretty cluttered. Actually this mirror still needs to be attached to the wall um, so I'm going to move this for now. And guys ready? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Like look at all this. This is a mess. I'm going to try to channel my inner Marie Kondo and really ask myself what I need. A lot of it is also super old anyway, so it's probably not good for me to be keeping old makeup. So it's about time that I went through it. I actually managed to reduce a lot um, and I reorganized a lot of things as well. So yeah, now I have most of my makeup kind of in sections at least and then um, my big palettes are still here. Oh my gosh, this feels so much better. Also, it was disgustingly dirty. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. Alright, so here's the final results of my mini clean out. These shelves look so much neater, I think. It looks a lot better. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff, but at least it's organized chaos, which I can deal with. We have the floating shelves, which has all of my albums and everything over here. And then the makeup department. <laughs> the makeup department of my bedroom looks a lot neater. There's not as much clutter and everything over here. Um, what I might do is actually try to find a guitar mount. I know you can find little clip hanger thingies for a guitar so that you can actually place it on the wall and that'll free up a lot of floor space as well for me but for now 
This is so much better. It's such a big improvement from before. The clutter was just really ruining my vibe and now that it's all gone, it feels like a weight has been lifted. So um, I'm really glad that I did that. Although I am very tired now, so pat on the back because that was a lot of work. I did a lot today. Guys, look at how pretty this keyboard is. I set up the keyboard that I got today in the mail and it is so beautiful. I was I was really curious to see how it types and everything, but as soon as I plugged it in, it lit up so bright and it's just so rainbowy and beautiful. I'm gonna bless you guys with some top quality keyboard ASMR right now, so listen to this. It's just a chef's kiss. Okay, it's finally dinner time. Um, I'm eating kind of late, it's like 8.30 right now, just because I got caught up in all that cleaning. So I'm really hungry. I just got some like a rice bowl. I feel like I did so much today, like the whole morning was a blur. Um, I did a lot of work and then suddenly we were cleaning and cleaning just took up so much time as it always does. And then now the whole day is gone and it's 9 p.m. But I am very satisfied with today. I got all of my priority tasks done. So I'm patting myself on the back for that. Good job, Amanda. You guys did good as well today. So good job, props. But yeah, I'm just gonna be chilling for the rest of the night and watching run on and some YouTube videos. I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my day and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.